Hey, what's up everyone? Eterno here and today we are going to play buffed Oriana. She's in T1 Oriana and she has received a buff for her Q AP scaling and we're gonna test if that makes a difference. We're gonna use the best build and runes for Oriana and I took Scourge for extra poke with someone airy. Alright, so auto and Q. I see he has bone plating. I didn't expect that. Right makes sense against Oriana. This matchup can be annoying because Rice is quite tanky and has good trading potential. I thought something would happen with Blitz being around. But okay. Well, it's gonna be a farm lane probably. Let's see. He has Ignite. Not TP like I thought. Okay, decent straight. I really like playing Oriana with Electrocute by the way, but this time I'm just trying out with standard setup to test the buff. Make sure to have the ball close to your enemy to apply some pressure. If you move behind this line, it will just appear back to you and it's good sometimes if you want to apply Q faster keep in mind it will take some time for the ball to travel or you can E and then it goes faster than Q speed it's also best if you can just make the E actually touch your enemy because it deals damage that way But so far the poke is really good. An ally has been slain. I actually could have gone Ignite. I also like that. Okay, I speed up myself with W. Oh. Well, I wouldn't finish him off even if I applied Q, so it doesn't matter. At least I burned their summoners. And I still have my flash, so it's okay. My plan was to just use barrier instead of flash. Hoping he would take enough damage from the turret. Still not bad, and I think I will wait for boots as well. Because that extra speed is helpful against Rise. But like you can speed up yourself like this also when reaching the line. I just paid attention if I had the sphere on myself already. Not to accidentally just W somewhere else. Because then I wouldn't get the speed up. I need to have the sphere on myself. Not bad so far. I have more CS than him. I speed myself up. Oh wait, you're actually here? Well, he's dead anyway. And double buff. I didn't expect him to take this route. Okay, I shoot myself. Just in case he would try to trade back. Cooldown is really low and I can just spam because I have double buff. Usually that would be an electrocute proc where I'm playing summon every. So I have to shoot myself now and that way I was able to trade. Without E I wouldn't be able to do it that quickly. Biscuits help to keep in mind these provide mana as well. I'm not scared to trade, but of course I forgot he has phase rush so we can just get away. My plan was to just apply QW and maybe ult. 
Okay, descent. I need to ward. Oh, we see. Okay. Hey, what if I... Oh, he's actually scared. I've got this, I've got this. Yes. You know, at once I was like, is he outing me? And then I realized those rise. Anyway, worth it. Nice. We're gonna test a different build. Because lately, except for Ludens, we can also go Landris earlier. And it could help against Rise, Aatrox and Blitz. Knowing their usual items they build, they get some extra HP. Whoops. Can I roam somewhere? Maybe top lane. He's trying to outplay them both, so I think he's gonna stay. Oh no. Okay, he's dead. Nice. It was really close. <laughs> Yeah, it was possible for him to make a double, but he didn't expect me to join top lane as well. And then he had to change plans. Let's go bot lane. An ally has been slain. Enemy rampage. Got him. They're not expecting me from this side. Oh. I can reach him. I speed myself up because I have enough damage. You have to calculate like this. We can reach him, I think. I've got low cooldowns. Alright. Let's speed up. Nope. I've got this. Aha! Lol, Blitz just baited him out. All right. Motivating. Well, you know what? Let's go with this because it grants. A bit more AP. So it's best to test that with the buff. So far they're not really building HP. I could always get that later. And Ludens is much better against Squishies. Far. Oh. 
Could get a flight, maybe. I have to be careful. I don't know where Viego is. Yeah, you should aim towards minion wave, because if the enemy dodges, at least you deal some damage to the wave. If you wanna push, of course. Oh, wait, he's actually doing this. Oh, and he's low. I don't wanna flash. I was able to flash QW, but it's not worth it. And I didn't get the follow up, so. Yes. Oh no, I wanted to flash and shoot. He was fighting alone, but it was better to help Darius because, you know, when Aatrox heals for too much, he just outplays. Yeah, do it. I'm kind of curious if he will join. Oh no, he's scared, so I just shoot. Blitz? Is that a bait? It is a bait. Actually, I have to flush. Whoops. I need someone to death. Wait, bot lane? They stayed. Maybe dragon. I guess they didn't pay attention at all. So they might get this dragon. Careful against Blitz. An ally has been slain. Time to text away. So yeah, I cannot join bot lane now. if this buff is enough to make a difference in terms of wave clearing now we're really lacking vision in that place you better not chase And mid lane again. And kill Sazu. They're coming bot. Well, Oriana lacks escapes. So I cannot really just go in like this. For now I can push. Impatient. 
They're getting cold all the time. Surprise. That's lame. How tanky is he? I actually should have gone Landrus. So yeah, I'm going for it. He's not defending mid. I don't know, free to red for as well just like that. Well, this kill actually didn't land. I wanna get rid of this mid lane turret. I definitely need that shield from Archangel, also more AP. And at this point I could have gone Gathering Storm because it helps for later Rifled Scorch would be beneficial on the lane and it actually was. Now the clear is better with Q. Around 200 AP. We need to group more. Bot lane is often separate. Dragon? Oh, there's Rift. Good. He might try to stop it. And where did he go? That's one. How are we going to deal with this as we go? It's difficult for Oriana because he has E and the flash. Oh, you see what happens? But wow, the ultimate on this skin is beautiful. I don't recommend 
relying on applying out having E at your ally because this happens sometimes like when my ally died was already gone and back to me and now Talon is not playing Okay, so I guess we can go Landris into that cup. And again, he's just going in. It's like, if he's fat, he kills, if he's not fat enough, he just dies, and there's nothing else. Maybe Lux will catch him in Q and I can combo. Oh no. Never mind. What about the Baron? Yes. That's why I tried to be close enough. Because I actually predicted Talon to go in like this again. Can you death mid? Can we handle Aatrox? I feel like he's not gonna be alone. What? You? Why? Oh, she actually made a double. That was unexpected. Okay, so this amplifies damage anyway, up to 6%. It's really good for Oriana because she has low cooldowns. And I probably get blue trinket. So I need blue trinket to keep vision on Baron. Okay, Darius is dead. Normally we would do Baron, but not close enough. Or like, it depends on Talon. But does he think about objectives? Okay, Flash. I can still reach. Or maybe not. Never mind. Anyway, there's Rise of Vault. Viego. Alon, why? He just goes in. I would like to push top now. 
I don't think that I will be able to without encountering Ezreal. And without Ota, I wouldn't be able to kill him. Stop going alone. There's no backup. He has no flash, it's fine. He also grants vision, you don't have to face check. What? Oh, dragons already. Well, it's a team game. What was he thinking? Oh, got him. Nice. Shoot. Oh, come on, that silence. I was planning to just hold myself. And I couldn't. He counters Oriana a bit. But I feel like Landry is helped. Now there's gonna be a huge power spike with that cap. That I hope they won't start the Baron. An ally has been slain. Wow, he got so excited that flash, what? But for real, can we have one good team fight together? So close to that cup. The ball is impatient. Why? Wow. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Your turret has been destroyed. Time tick ticks away. Your turret has been destroyed. Okay. We got that zero. I thought I had him. We 
Oh, Our cosmic drive devalues more speed. Solid shield. Can we fight for Elder? This I need to check if he's doing Baron. Yes. Or it's gonna be tough with Blitz around. Oh, so close. I could have done W, which is faster. But it still deals less than his smite. So it was unlikely. And old deals more than his smite, that's why. Just one second faster. won't work, there's no talent. Just dash through. I cannot do anything. Dash or something. You know, I think it's impossible. Because there's a team difference. Oh, maybe you can. Wait, you still have the reset. Ah, he was hoping for Elder. I myself would just go for resets, I think. Are we actually still in the game? Well, there are no objectives, we don't have to chase them. HP from Q. Enemy yeah, fighting 1v1 against Elder Rise, good idea. Oh, I could get this. to wait for Blitz to use his Q and he's actually chasing me oh, I hope they would appear one second faster anyway it was done okay it's a slight buff but I think Oriana is in a good state. It was just one of those games you cannot win. So thanks for watching. You can let me know in the comments what do you think about Oriana. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe. You can check out my stream and my other channel in the description as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.